Folks, in the last video, I talked about the 10 major sectors of the S&P 500. I explained how each one uh, reacts to a bullish market cycle, to a bearish market cycle, to a choppy, sideways, two-sided market cycle. So now I want to show you or teach you how to analyze these sectors using basic technical analysis, okay? And what I'm going to show you, you can use any uh, trading platform, anyone that, that you can customize. You can use Excel spreadsheet. You can use stockfetcher.com, you can use bar chart, you can use FinFiz, which is a, another site. Basically, any basic charting software that can do basic calculations can do what I'm about to show you. So, we have our 10 major sectors, industrial, consumer staples, consumer discretionary, real estate, utilities, materials, health, tech, energy, finance. Which ones are leading, which ones are following? This is what you need to do. You're gonna create a very basic scan. You're gonna use relative strength. Let me write that down. What is relative strength? I know it sounds complicated. I know it sounds fancy. Relative strength is basically figuring out how much something has gained in comparison to something else. So if something started, if something gained 10%, if ABC stock gained 10% and uh, ZYX stock gained 15%, that one is stronger. It's that simple. We want to do relative strength analysis on all of the top 10 sectors that I just talked about, the discretionary consumer, the retail, the um, technology, the, the uh, energy, all of the top 10. I'm not going to flip the page. I'm just going to stay here, but we went through it. You can look at the previous video if you want a, a, a little introduction on the top 10 but you want to analyze them, you want to rank them. You want to rank them on three month top relative strength. You want to rank them on six month top and you want to rank them at nine month top. And then once you have the three month high of the highest relative strength, the six month high of the highest relative strength, the nine month high of the highest relative strength, you average them. So for example, let's say we're looking at XLK, all right? And let's say that during the top, let's say it's the top over the last three months, six months, and nine months. And let's say each month it gives us 20, each period it gives us 25%, 25%, 25%. You would simply add all these together, divide them by three, so the average would be 25%. And you simply want to take the top 10 and you want to rank them by the three month high, the six month high, and the nine month, nine month high. Then you want to take those periods, those three periods, and you want to average them. And then you want to compare all 10. So XLK may be at 25%. XLE may be at 20% and so forth and so forth and so forth. And the point of all this is to find the strongest performing sector out of the top 10 over a three month time period, six month time period, and nine month time period. And then divide those in three and get an average. And that's how you can tell which one has the most odds of gaining going into the future.